Hi there. Um, my name is Charles Carter. I'm an adjunct professor at the Foreign Language Department at ETSU. And today uh, we're going to start with um, the alphabet. We're going to compare the Spanish alphabet with the English alphabet. Um, in English we have 26 letters and in Spanish we have 29. Um, most of the consonants are very similar in both languages. If you look on page 7, you'll find the alphabet listed there, and if you will, repeat the letters with me. A, B, C, C, D, E, F, H, H, I, J, K, L, L, M, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. As I mentioned, there are 29 letters in the Spanish alphabet, three more than in the English. The difference are, is um, the letters Ch, Ey, and Ñ. Now, back in 1994, the Real Academia Española, the Royal Spanish Academy, um, decided that they were going to adopt a universal Latin order when alphabetized. And so, in dictionaries that have been printed since 1994, the letters Che and E no longer um, have their own section of the dictionary. Enye still remains a, uh, a letter equal to all the others. There are a number of letters that have different uh, pronunciations than, uh, than what we find in English. The letter C has a hard sound and a soft sound. When the C is followed by E or I, it sounds like S-E-S-I. C, C. C, C. But when a C is followed by an A, an O, a U, an R, an L, then the C has a K sound, and it sounds like ka, ko, ku, kru, or kla, klase. Um, another letter that changes is the letter G. The letter G in English has a J sound, which is a soft sound, and it has a G sound, the hard sound. Spanish also has a soft sound and a hard sound, but again, this letter, G-E or G-I, are going to be pronounced like an English H. It sounds like he or he. Now the, the hard sound of the G in Spanish is the same as the hard sound. Uh, the hard sound in Spanish is the same as the hard sound in English. It sounds like G. G-A would be ga. G-O, go. G-U, gu. 
Now, how do we get ge and gi? If this is he and he, we do need ge and gi. Well, what we do is add a u, which is silent. Here we have ge, here we have gi. Okay? Uh, the next letter, which is different, is the letter H. In English, it has a H huh sound, but in Spanish, it is silent. We have A, ah. not HA, but A. Ah. E. E. O, U. You won't hear any sound for the letter H. The next letter is a J. The J in Spanish sounds like an English H. So when Santa Claus goes ho, 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 Santa in Spanish goes Ho, ho, ho. J-A would be ha. J-E would be he. J-I would be he. J-O, ho. J-U would be who. Okay? The double L. It is called a -ye. The double L is the same as a Y in English. So we have Ya, Ye, Yi, Yo, You. Just as if it were a Y. Okay? The letter Ng. This is not an N with a little mark over it. It is an N. It is a letter, a separate letter by itself. And it represents the sound Ny. Now we have this sound in English. We have the word canyon. We have the word union. So if you look at this section right here, canyon, union. You have the enya sound. In Spanish, this would be nya. Nye. Ni. Nyo. Nyu. Okay? Uh, the next thing we want to look at is the letter R. In Espanol, it's called R. Now, the R has two distinct sounds. When it appears as a single letter, it has what is called one trill. The tip of your tongue will vibrate off your palate one time. If it is a double R, it is called an R. And you trill your tongue. Um, it's like uh, when you were a little kid and you were shooting a machine gun. R. This is a word for railroad. Ferrocarril. Double R's are trilled. It is, um, it's hard for some people sometimes to pick up that, uh, the, the trill. Uh, and uh, 
It just takes practice, so we can't give up on that one. Okay, the next letter we want to look at is the letter V. Now, V and B in Spanish are basically pronounced the same way. Uh, in English, if we say boat, what I've said is this word, boat. Now, how would I pronounce this? I would kind of bite my lower lip and say vote. They are distinct in English. In Spanish, they should sound the same. And it is somewhat a combination of the two. In Spanish, You're going to hear bote and vaca. You're not going to hear vaca, vaca. It's not as forceful as the English B, but the B and the B in Spanish should sound the same. The last letter, or not the last letter, the next to the last letter we want to look at is the letter X. Uh, depending on where you find the letter X, it has a number of different sounds. It can sound like an S. It can sound like an XH, uh, SH. It can sound like a J. It can sound like an X. For example, in Mexico, the X in this name is pronounced so, so shimilco. Sounds like an S. This name, however, it sounds like a J. Himena. Himena. So we have for the X, S sound, sh, a J sound, a H sound, and it can be rayos. X. This is the name of the letter. X. X. It has that sound also. The last letter we're going to look at is the Z. The Z in Spanish should sound just like an S. In English, this is a zebra. Okay? If I were to pronounce that in Espanol, it would be a cebra. Okay? This is a zoológico. Not a zoológico, but a zoológico. It sounds like an S. One last example. This is not paz, it's pas, P-A-S, pas. So now we've gone through some of the differences between the English pronunciation and the Spanish. Uh, let me talk to you just a moment about the diff uh, some of the differences that we find in English and Spanish. English and Spanish both have five vowels. They are the same five vowels. Now Spanish, each vowel has only one sound. In English, um, between the five vowels there are over 20 different sounds. 
In English, there are actually over 40 sounds that are pronounced over 400 different ways. Or and, and I'm sorry, there are 40 sounds that are spelled over 400 different ways. Look at this word I've written on the board. Can you read that in English? It's an English word. Do you have any clue what that says in English? Some people say it's gahodi. Some people may say it's gadi. Uh, and we can continue guessing. Let me tell you what that says. That says fish. And if you don't believe me, look at this. How do we pronounce the GH of this word? Enough. You get the sound right here. How do you pronounce the O of this word? It's women. E. So you have F, E. How do you pronounce the TI in this word? It's nation. So here we go. We have f e sh. We have fish. F e sh. That just goes to show you how um, screwed up the English language is. Um, it's good proof as to why non-English speakers have a hard time learning English as a second language. Now, on the other hand. Spanish is one of the easiest languages to learn. Five vowels, five sounds. What I'd like for you to do is just bear with me and close your eyes for just a moment. This is going to be an exercise in visualizing some sounds. Imagine that you've gone to the doctor's office. And you're waiting in the waiting room, just as you normally do, until your name is finally called. The nurse says, come on over here, follow me. And you go down the hall. Finally, she opens the door and says, please wait here. The doctor will be, will be with you in just a moment. So you sit and you look at the posters and look at the drawers and the cabinets and then you start thinking you're, you're nosy like everyone else is and you finally sit down knowing that the doctor's going to be there any minute. A moment later a knock comes on the door and the doctor comes in with the nurse and he says well let's see what we have here. You sit up on the examining table and the doctor takes out a little flat wooden stick from his lap pocket and he asks you to open his mouth. He presses on your tongue and he has you, has you say what? You say, ah. Can you repeat that for me please? Say, ah. He says, that looks fine. Then he reaches into his other pocket and he pulls out an oblong shaped uh, object that is about three inches long. Um, it has a hard shell on the outside. It was laid by a chicken earlier in the day. What did he pull out of his pocket? Can you say egg? Say a. A. What did that doctor ask you to say when he pressed on your tongue? You said, ah. What did he pull out of his pocket? That's right, he pulled out an egg. Well, he takes this egg, hands it to the nurse, who slowly comes up behind you and cracks it on your head. Surprised by this, you say, eek, just like the little scared mice on the cartoons on TV. Can you say, eek? What did the doctor ask you to say when he pressed on your tongue? Ah, what did he pull out of his pocket? That is white and was laid by a chicken. 
A, that's right. And what did you say when the nurse broke that egg on your head? You said, eek. So far we have A, A, E. Now, to reassure you, the nurse says, don't worry about it. You know, along with your checkup, you're going to get a free head massage and shampoo. So when you find out you're getting freebies, you say, oh. Say, oh. So what did the doctor ask you to say when he pressed on your tongue? Ah. What did he pull out of his pocket? A. What did you say when the nurse cracked that egg on your head? E. When you found out you were getting freebies, what did you say? Oh. After you get all cleaned up, the nurse walks over with the mirror and says, Now look in here. See how good you look? You say, Ooh. So what did the doctor have you say when he pressed out on your tongue? Ah. What did he pull out of his pocket? Egg. What was your reaction when the egg was broken on your head? E. When you found out you were getting freebies, you said, oh. And we, when you saw how good you looked, your reaction was, ooh. Now, you can go ahead and raise your heads, open your eyes, and just think about this. If you are ever in doubt as to the pronunciation of a vowel in Spanish, close your eyes, take that trip back to the doctor's office, and review the sounds we just went over. Repitan. A, E, I, O, U. And those five vowel sounds will never vary. If you will, turn in your book to page 12. And let's look at the, the bottom of the page. Uh, it is titled Practica, Sección A. And we're going to go over some syllables here. We're going to practice the consonants with... Um, any number of the different vowels. If we take a step backwards just in time to review, a B in English sounds like a B. In English, it sounds like a B. In Spanish, it will sound like a B. So if you put BA together, what do you get? B. A D in English sounds like D. A D in Spanish sounds like D. So when you get a D-A, you get DA. When you get a D-E, you get DE. And so on. So if we'll look at Activity A, page 12. Bottom of the page. Numero uno, number one. We have M-A. What would that be? MA. F-A. FA. L A La T A Ta P A Pa Okay, let's look at number two. Now we're looking at the vowel E with different consonants in front. What does an E sound like? A. So let's put these consonants in front. What's M E? Me. F E Fe L E Le T E Te P E Pe Okay, numero tres, number three. Am I is what? Me F I Fi L I Li T I T P I P Same consonants with the letter O 
What's MO? MO. FO. FO. LO. LO. TO. TO. PO. O. And now numero cinco, number five, with the vowel U. A U sounds like U. Let's put these consonants with it. M-U, Mu, F-U, Fu, L-U, Lu, T-U, Tu, P-U, O. In the last three, we're just going to mix and match. Uh, numero seis, number six. What is MI? Mi, F E, Fe, L A, La, T U, Tu, D O, Do. Number seven, S U, Su, M I, Mi, T E. Te, S-O, So, L-A, La, and the last one, number eight, S-E is C, T-U, Tu, N-O, No, Y-A, Ya, L-I, Li, One other little section that we want to look at here, just to review, at the top page 13, section B, we have palabras, words. And we'll read some of these just to practice the pronunciation, the proper pronunciation of the vowels and the consonants. Numero uno, remember that the H is what? Silent. So, H-A-S-T-A, hasta. Let's continue. Tal, nada, mañana, natural, normal, fascinante. Let's look at number three. Si, señorita, permiso. Terrible. Now here we have a word that looks just like English. It's not impossible. In Espanol it would be imposible. Timido. Ibiza. So there you have an introduction to vowel sounds and the alphabet. You have the same five vowels in Espanol that you have in English. You have the same consonants with three new letters. The letter EY, the letter ñ, and the letter CHE. But you have five vowels that will never vary in their sound. These five sounds are A, E, I, O, U. Let's repeat them one more time. A, E, I, O, U.